Hello, VDOFX here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how I made this snow overlay material in Redshift that you can simply apply over any object that you want to have snow on. And it can be easily customized also. Let's get to it. I am going to start off with this campfire scene. To make it easier to see our snow material, I am going to use a sphere. I will create a new standard material and apply on the sphere. And just give it a new rose gold look. Now let's work on the snow material. I will create a new material and name it Snow Overlay. Apply this new snow material on top of the sphere material. This material will cover over the rose gold surface. We will use this setup to create the snow overlay. Open up the node editor. We will add a state node, which will give us access to the polygon normal directions. As snow fall from above, it will usually appear only on the positive y direction. So we can use the normal data from the state node and extract out the y-axis to use as a mask. To do so, I will use a vector multiply node and connect it up. The material turned black because all the axes are multiplied with zero. We want to multiply the y-axis by one to get back the data. This gives us a green color on all the polygons facing upwards. We don't need the color, so let's add a ramp node to tint it black and white. Place the output into the alternate input port on the ramp. We can use the gradient ramp slider to adjust the intensity and spread of the mask. Bring to the left to reveal more of the white color and to the right to show more black. We can use this gradient to mask our snow material by placing it in the opacity input. Also, I will change the base color to white for the snow look. And this is basically how the snow overlay material is done. Let's now complete our snow material. Zooming in, we can see the snow material is very smooth. We will add some bump. Create a max and noise node. With the noise node on solo, we can see the default noise scale is too small. This is an issue that I've covered in my previous video. I will increase the noise scale to something larger. I settled on 10 in this case. Then, we will plug into a bump map node to control the material bump. Now this looks more like a soft, snowy, powdered surface. We can adjust the bump amount to refine the look further. I will apply the snow material on all the objects that I want to receive the snow. Basically, any surface that is exposed to the sky. Now our campfire is covered with snow. If we go back to the snow material and adjust the ramp, we can control how far the snow spreads out on the surface of all the objects it is applied on. Let's take this a step further. The snow is uniformly covering the whole scene. We will use a maxin noise to break it up. I will make space in the node editor and drop down a new maxin noise node. I will set the scale to something large as I want to create larger patches of details. We can use this noise map to control the opacity of the snow. But we also need the snow to be masked out in the Y direction. So we need to blend the two maps together by using a color layer node. I will put the normal mask as the base layer. Let's turn off the layer one option first. We should see the snow effect as before. Now I'll take the noise and put into the layer one color input and set the blending mode to overlay. To make the noise more visible, we can go to the gradient ramp and lower the white color to something like 50% gray. Adding this effect on other objects is very simple. I will create a figure object and a new material for it. Now simply apply the snow overlay on it and it is now covered in snow. For a final example, this snow can also be used to create a snowy landscape. I have a mountain here. We can apply the snow material on it to make it look like it's covered in snow too. And then play with the gradient ramp and noise scale to fit. You can see how easy it is to create a snowy look.
The material is easy to apply and also easy to adjust. I will also upload this project file on my Gumroad page. That's it for this tutorial. And I hope this can help you in your work.